Hi guys, welcome. This is our daily reading for Thursday, October 6th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We are all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing, so see what feels right for you. It could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we are all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. In the end, is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave, riding the wave, crashing into the wave or ignoring the wave. Also feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, try to check out the links that I provide below and see if they bring some more clarity, some more signs and symbols to this reading for you and show your love and support to the artists and musicians. I'm going to start today's reading with the Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Let's get one card and see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. One card for focus, clarity, and understanding the energies of the day and some wisdom to ride these energies best. One card for all of us today, Thursday, that one. And that was higher power uh, that jumped on out. So, uh, like nature, spirit, tapping into that. I, I feel like it's in your gut, like you feel it, but I feel like it's in tune to your higher self. Like your, um, your third eye is opening. Your connect, yeah, she look, she totally has like a fate. All right, I, don't, I, I hope you can see this. All right, see her face here, and she has like a keyhole, you know, in her third eye. Like that's the way through. That's, um, you have to find, it's like the lock. You have to open it with the key, you know? You have to open something up here. You have to open yourself up here, right? To see things that are behind the veil, you know, not in the tangible world. But then look closer, All right? So her face is here. If you look down, there's like a face down here, like kind of in her gut, his gut. So you're feeling something deep inside of you. It's like a feeling today and it connects you to your higher self so you can understand what you feel deep down. I feel like there's a connection here um, and I feel like it gives you flight. It makes you feel free. It gives you stability. It's a four. So um, fours, Remind me of stability, like four corners, building a house, building a structure, having a foundation. And yet this card is so light. So I feel like you've built a foundation. You're building a foundation or you're tapping into your higher self to learn how to build this foundation, like tapping into your own inner nature, that higher conscious contract that you have always had, that you are learning how to read now. It's like you're learning how to read the small print. You know, you had the contract in your hands, in your mind, in your soul, in your body the whole time, and you're gaining the sight, you're gaining the vision, you're gaining the clarity to understand the language, to understand the small print, um, to hear those directions, to hear those uh, divine signs that come to you. Um, it's actually like seeing the divine presence around you and feeling it inside of you, feeling that connection inside of you. Um, I think it's when you realize that there's um, a higher purpose to what's going on than what you thought before. It's like the higher driver, you know, um, getting in the driver's seat and connecting that like inner driver to the outer conscious driver. I hope that made sense. 
Um, I feel like that's a really powerful card. And when I think of the four, I think of the emperor, you know, like the I am, the like the ruler, the one that's in charge, taking charge, doing what you have to do. But then this card is so feminine and beautiful and like pink energy and healing, sweet, innocent, almost like, uh, I think of like Glenda, the good witch of the North a little bit, you know, like sweet and bubbly and pink and happy. And um, maybe there's a balance between that masculine energy of the emperor and getting things done and that spiritual side, that sweet side, that, um, that sweet guidance that we all have inside of us that just lights our way, you know, makes us fly, makes us feel free, makes us um, I feel like, like, um, wanting to go inside, you know, like wanting to tap inside of yourself, like itchy to have more, itchy to see more, to discover more, to know more about this connection. Um, all right, I'm going to go to the Native American tarot and let's get another card for, for higher power. So I feel like there's like a high priestess energy in this too. Like a high priestess, but um, something coming to light, you know, like not, there's, there's only beautiful, light, happy energy here. There's no fear, you know, there's no fear. It's just um, pure higher power, like strength. Um, I actually think of a Bible verse. I think of God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind. That's what I think of when I look at that. So um, let's get another card for higher power for the day. Pre presence of the divine, like actually seeing things in front of you, like lifting the veil a little bit today, seeing behind the veil and seeing with a veil of beauty, of light, of love, of innocence as well. Chief of vessels. So maybe that's the emperor energy, but learning to use his emotions, her emotions. It's a general reading, but this is the do. So, you know, I feel like there's a balance here between what you allow and that, um, you know, almost high priestess energy we all have inside of us and this. You know, this is like the King of Cups, the King of Vessels, um, somebody helpful, generous, kind, you know, he gives to charity. He gives to um, community, his neighborhoods. Um, he puts extra time in to, I want to say his job maybe, but I feel like investing in people, investing his energy into love, you know, love of others, love of community, love of himself too. Um, I feel like the chief of vessels rides um, the waves of emotion as they come. You know, he's a master at these emotions. He's not fearful of his emotions. He's, um, you know, gone into this dark forest before. He's fallen off of the canoe and gotten wrapped into this water, into the uh, waterfalls and, you know, down the rapids. And he's learned how to navigate his boat of emotions very well. He knows when to bring help. He has like, I think, I feel like he always has some support behind him. Like that guy looks pretty badass back there, or that's a pretty badass girl, you know, helping him out. So I feel like the chief of vessels always has a support system or he is a type of support system. So, um, and I see like this bird. So connection to spirit, your higher self, even though you're um, drifting with emotion, like, uh, gravitating towards your emotion. He's not on the land right now. He's in his emotions. She's in her emotions right now. You're riding along that river, you know, whether these waters are calm, bumpy. Um, I feel like they're moving along. You're moving along somewhere. Um, the sky is clear here too. Um, I feel like 
like there's effort involved between you and somebody else here. Equal effort. You know, somebody else is getting on board with you or you're riding to some, somewhere. I feel like this Chief of Vessels is maybe going on a journey today. Maybe across water. Uh, maybe just a journey to discover these emotions that he or she is feeling today to uh, understand them better. Um, I feel like this is that gut, you know, that feeling. The, maybe the butterflies in your stomach. Maybe there's like a new relationship here. Um, a new level on a relationship here. Um, I feel like some of... I, well, I want to mention it could be... I mean, it's a general reading, so I feel like it's always wisdom for all of us, but it could be a water sign, you know, in your chart, um, like prominent in your environment, in your situation today, somebody you know, somebody you connect with, someone that comes into your world, someone you're going to meet. So it could be like a Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Cancer energy, but somebody who's just emotional. I want to say emotional and sexy, you know, male or female. I feel like that vulnerability, that uh, sensitivity is what's sexy about this person. That they're not afraid of their emotions. You know, they they write poems and, you know, sing. And they're like a musician. There's Even if they work in an office, I feel like they sing in the shower. You know, they have that secret, amazing voice that no one has heard. Or, you know, they have like art tucked away that no one saw or they're just like an artist a musician i feel like there's either hidden beautiful artistic talents that are not being expressed for some reason with this guy maybe there's an expression moving forward today with art or music something like that going with the flow working together or maybe um working with somebody else i feel like he is soft and the person in the background is hard you know but i feel like inside he's the tough one and maybe inside this person with the big mohawk is actually a softy so i feel like there's a balance in emotions balance in masculine balance in feminine here today um let's get another card i'm gonna go to the art of life let's get some more clarity on the chief of vessels the journey maybe where you're going what you're tapping into Maybe this chief of vessels is feeling things in his or her gut, you know, deeply connecting. Um, I feel like it's you or someone around you connecting you deeply, maybe to deeply to this person. I feel like there's two people here connected to each other. And I feel like in this card, this is your own personal connection between your inner and outer self, your higher and lower chakras, um, your masculine and your feminine, your right and your left brain. You know, maybe like kundalini energy, something like that. Um, let's get another card for the Chief of Vessels. It's like the King of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. So holding on to something, maybe a little too tightly. Afraid to let something go. Afraid something might run away. Um, afraid you'll lose freedom. Something like that afraid to allow growth. I feel like there's fear here, but it could be the miser. You know, the four of pentacles is also like building stability. It's also another four that we got. So it's building stability in your actual environment, but I feel like you have to let something go. You have to let something grow. You have to let yourself grow and learn and ride with the flow so that you don't get stagnant when you start to build something. You don't want to stand there looking at the four corners and never get anything else done. You know, you have to look at those four corners, that stability, that uh, like um, foundation as something to build upon. Like a child, you know, you start small, you start new, you start fresh and you gain lessons, you gain growth, you gain muscle, you gain, gain stability. Um, ordinary riches cannot be stolen. Real riches cannot. All right, let me say that again. Wait. Ordinary riches can be stolen. Real riches cannot. In your soul are infinitely precious things that cannot be taken from you. Oscar Wilde. And this is Nurse Reading to a Little Girl. Detail by Mary Cassette, 1895. Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York, USA. So, um, wealth is in experience. 
You know, it's what we can um, feel and hold and hug, kiss, talk to, love. You know, it's what we love to do, what we love to put our energy into. You know, I feel like this nurse is just like reading a storybook, reading a bedtime story to this little girl. You know, imagination is flowing. Um, I feel like she has voices and characters. Maybe some of you do voices or read, you know, do like um, voiceovers or um, have a nice voice and should do voiceovers. I want to say if someone has told you more than once or even once and they're very enthusiastic about liking your voice, maybe do something on YouTube. Read a bedtime story. Read a story like a child, you know, a children's book or something or you know, write a little story. If you do animation and you know someone that has a voice, work together. Um, I feel like that was specific for someone, but it's really easy to do. Maybe you have a voice and you'll do one story and just let it out there and somebody will hear you. You know, you don't have to do a weird reel anymore and send it to a talent agent. You can just have something up there and let the talent agent find you. Um, you know, grow, expand yourself. I feel like you should use your talents today. I feel like a voice is involved. Speaking, stories, writing. Um, yeah, something like that. Um, don't hold on to your talents. You know, don't hold on to, you know, I, I feel like for some of you, it's holding on to like a job as well. You know, afraid to move on, afraid to expand, um, afraid to make a journey towards something you actually really love to do because you're afraid that you might lose stability, lose your foundation, lose something. I feel like this chief of vessels takes a chance, you know, gets in the boat and rides with those emotions, learns, messes up if he has to, she has to, so that you can grow, you can expand. And um, I feel like there's help around you here to bring you stability. So maybe the pursuit has to be towards what you love, you know, so that your energy is into what you're doing. Um, you know, we could, I feel like in the end, what you remember, what you remember is not what we have acquired. It's not all of the things, you know, this little girl, is going to rem remember this woman reading this story, this experience, you know? If something ever happened to that book or she lost that book or it was just put into the attic and, um, you know, lost, she can still remember this experience, this story, this moment. And that's what's important, more than the physical object. So maybe don't get attached to things. Think about experience today, Ex building experiences so that you can acquire more experiences, um, opening your arms, you know, to receive things that are better, not holding things so tightly, let something go if it needs to go and trust that something else will come back and even that flow, even your scales up. I'm going to pull one more card for the day. More clarity, understanding of the four pentacles, holding on to something, not letting something go, not moving on, moving on, learning to ride your emotions, uh, seeing the bigger picture, seeing the divine presence in everything you've gone through and what you have and what you can let go of. The seven of water. So making a choice, decisions, or you've made a decision you know, in some cases, but it's you, it usually requires you putting some time, putting some energy into this decision. Um, it brings you to the truth. It brings you to the truth of your spirit, of your soul, of your emotions. It's an emotional decision and we don't always make the right decision. Sometimes we mess up, you know, we choose this color when this color was better suited for our healing purposes. But there is a reason you're drawn to one decision. So um, I would say think about this decision first. Weigh out your, um, weigh your scale out. You know, almost imagine that value in your chalice. Imagine that emotion in your cup and feel that emotion. 
Um, it's when you have to do some research. So it's telling you to stop procrastinating, making a decision, and that it is a complex decision, but it starts with you moving, moving on, moving forward, maybe leaving something behind, moving towards truth, moving towards, I would say, what feels right. You know, what feels like you're gaining something and not like you're losing something. To see things a different way, to see like, to see things as beneficial, opportunity, um, a lesson gained, a lesson learned, strength gained, you know, strength acquired, and um, head towards that choice that feels best for you. And don't worry so much about making the wrong choice, you know? We all make wrong choices. We all mess up. And I feel like the, the higher power here is helping you to feel the right choice in the situation, to feel what is right for you, to feel which one moves you. I feel like it's an emotional decision, you know? I feel like even though this Four of Pentacles is earth, is environment, is money, is work, it's emotional too. So maybe this is something emotional you're thinking of leaving or holding on to. I feel like saying it's like if you love it, let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant to be, you know? And if not, you gained a new um, perception on that situation. You gained new perspective. And I feel like worry was involved before with this decision. And I feel like moving towards what feels right in your gut, what connects you to your own signs and symbols. Just make a decision, you know, take a step in the direction that makes you feel sweet, beautiful, right. You know, like you're going with the flow and see where it takes you. See if it brings you to another crossroads, you know, another opportunity, another conversation where you know, you can see a little more in the background. You can um, see, I, I, I'm going back to that, like seeing the details and the, the fine print. So whatever I said in the very beginning of this reading, maybe go back to that. I feel like you're gaining, you know, you're, you, you're holding on to something and now letting something go. Feeling that gut, you know, inside of you, tapping into your higher self is helping you to gain the knowledge, gain like almost like the code to read the small print to figure out this decision for yourself. I feel like it's a code. You know, you have to decode each one. So maybe start with one um, letter at a time, one choice, and start there and see if it brings, um, you know, more of the code for you so you can like you know, decode this whole situation. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I feel like this was a little bit of a confusing reading, but I guess it's a complex decision and we need to go decode something today. So follow your heart, follow your gut, trust that you can um, uh, decode the situation yourself. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon.